Alright guys, welcome back. We've got one more video on identifying uh, functional groups. Remember, um, you can get this handout from my website. Uh, so if you want the link, just uh, hit me up and I'll send you the link. And, um, you know, these are our functional groups and we've already went over them. So let's look at the, uh, the other one that we're going to do. Here's the other one. Quite a bit intensive. Okay, well, we got one, two, three, four drawings, okay? Let's go ahead and go through and uh, figure these guys out, okay? All right, I'm going to zoom it in some, maybe 125%, because 200 is definitely too much, okay? All right, um, let's start with the uh, most obvious one. Uh, first of all, I guess I need to change my color, don't I? It's kind of big, so, you know, for this. There we go. Here's our uh, first functional group. These are double bonds. So uh, this is my number one uh, on this one for A. Uh, number one, remember, single bonds is alkane, double bonds is alkenes. So this is an alkene. Okay. Uh, to identify my second one is this O that's right here. Now notice that uh, this O doesn't have anything to the uh, left except a carbon chain and anything to the right of it but a carbon chain. So that's just uh, one O. So uh, it's an ether. Now remember, either or, or, O-R. Remember, carbon chains are represented with the letter R. So there's a carbon chain. That's an R. And this is a carbon chain. Okay, so that spells or, O-R, either or. So it's an ether. That's the way that I remember it. So this is my second one. So I'm going to come over here and put a 2. And that is an uh, uh, eth ether. Okay, now let me show you what I'm talking about, about either or, really quickly, uh, just in case if you don't remember it from the uh, last one. Remember from the last video, remember that an ether is an O with a carbon chain on the left and a carbon chain on the right. So notice that, that spells or, O R, O R. Okay, so that's how I remember it, either or. Okay, uh, so there's that one. Uh, here we have an alcohol group right here. This is number three. So let's go ahead and put that one down. This is an alcohol, so I'm going to put a 3 here. And I'm going to spell alcohol, A-L. Now remember, I'm not a great speller, so let's make sure we spell this right. Alcohol. Okay, A-L-C-O-H-O-L. Alcohol. A-L-A-L-C-O-H-O-L. Got that right. So A is finished. So we're done with this drawing. Okay. On to the next drawing. All right. Um, Let's we'll start with uh, one a little bit easier. Uh, this group right here. Okay. Notice that this central carbon here, where I have the dot, is basically it has two things attached to it. It's got this double bonded O, and it's got this nitrogen group. Now, immediately, as soon as you hear nitrogen, you should be thinking about amine or amide instantly. Now remember, for it to be an amine, A mine, uh, this nitrogen has to make a claim that this central carbon is basically its and its alone. Basically it's not sharing it. Well, if you look closely here, it is sharing this central carbon with a double bonded O. So there's no way it can be an amine, A-M-I-N-E. It can't be that because this nitrogen can't say that that central carbon is all of its own. It's sharing it. So it has to admit that it's sharing. So this is an amide. So this number one here is an amide. So I'm going to come over here and put a number one and say that this is an amide. A-M-I-D-E. Uh, the other one that we need to uh, make uh, recognition of is this HS here. Uh, that is a sulfur. Now as soon as you hear a sulfur and you don't see anything else attached to it, uh, it's more likely a thiol because all sulfurs usually, boom, it tells you it's a thiol. So this number two here is a thiol. Okay, uh, Number two, thiol, uh, T-H-I-O-L. Let me show you that in the handout. Uh, thiol, let me find it. Do you see it? I mean, there it is, T-H-I-O-L. See, there's the sulfur. Now, notice it does show an H here, but that could be, uh, well, it could be an S-H-2, it could be an S-H, or it could just be an S. OK, 
Okay, so that tells me that this is a thiol. T H I O L. Let me make sure. T H I O L. So yes, we spelled that correctly. So I'm being, you know, getting pretty lucky tonight. Okay. I don't mind to tell y'all that I do not spell well, so I don't. All right. Um, let's look through here. Uh, well, the one that sticks out like a sore thumb instantly on C here is this triple bond. So I know that that is and uh, what is that? Triple bond alkane, alkene, and al. Kind. Make sure we spell that right. Uh, a l k y n e. A l k y n e. Good. Now this is where a lot of people, including myself, when I was in college, would get confused and in high school. Um, notice here that you see this double bonded um, uh, O on this central carbon. Immediately you're thinking ketone, you know, because you see it. You're like, wow, because you see the carbon chain that's right here. But when you look to this other side, that's not a carbon chain. Okay. It is on over in here, but this oxygen is in the way. Okay, so basically, this central carbon, I'll change the color uh, briefly so we can, you know, basically overemphasize this dot right here. Okay, that huge dot right there is a carbon. That carbon is being touched by two different O's. It's being touched by this double bonded O and this single bonded O. Okay, so since that's happening, it's not a ketone. Uh, so that tells us it's either an ether or it's an ester. Uh, what we need to do is make sure we pick the correct one. Well, this one is an ester. Now, let me try my best to explain why this is an ester. Okay, plural meaning uh, two. Okay, so let me go ahead and change this color. Okay, so this is number two right here. This is an ester because there's two O's attached to this central carbon that I dotted in really ugly. So let's go ahead and put that back on there. Okay. So this is an ester. Okay. Now let me make sure that I spell that right and I can show you in the examples here. Notice that an ester uh, on its central carbon has an O that's attached. Okay. You see that? And it has the double bonded O attached. Okay. Now let's look at uh, an ether. Notice that an ether just has a single O. But notice that single O is not double bonded. It's just single bonds attached to these carbon chains. Okay, that's something else that needs to be pointed out so you don't get them confused. Okay, so the way that I would just remember is that an ester is plural for O's. So as soon as you start seeing O's, these three should pop in your mind. An ester, a ketone, and an ether. Okay, uh, this one though, since these two oxygens are attached to that central carbon, then that tells you that it's an uh, an ester. Make sure I spell that right. E S T E R E S T. Oh, I put an extra H in that. E. Wait, did I? E S E S T E R. Ester. E S T E R E S T E R. There we go. Ester. Yoo hoo! We're done with that one. Um, now, I guess if you want to, you know, talk about the, you know, owl. Al uh, canes, you know, but look, as soon as you get a functional group that's in there, then it's almost just ignore that you even have an, an alkane. The only time that you would say something is alkane is if you do not have any other functional groups available, okay? That's when you result to naming alkanes and alkenes, yeah, okay? So, but I have to say this because this is, you know, very unusual with all these other single bonds, so, you know, that's pretty important, so I'm going to name that. All right, so we're done with C now. Now let's go on to D. Uh, notice here that we have a uh, an alcohol group right here, number one. All right, so let's go ahead and name that number one alcohol. A L C O H O L. That's an alcohol. Uh, here, notice that this double bonded O is attached to a central carbon. Notice that to its left and right is nothing but carbon chains. So this is a ketone. This number two here. Okay, ketone. So let's go ahead and put it down. Number two, ketone. And finally, the last one of all of these on this one is all these double bonds. Okay, so let me just you know, hurry up and circle these. I'm not doing a great job. I'm using a mouse and everything, but I'm just emphasizing. So my third one, I'll put a three in there. 
Okay, on these, these are uh, double bonds. So on this, whoops, on this, I'm going to put three, and it goes alkane, alkene, alkyne. So this is an alkane, alkene, an alkene, A L K E N E. This is an alkene. And we have named all of these functional groups. Well, I hope it helped. Just take your time again, listen to me explain it again, and I hope it helps. And good luck!